So we just got back from our test run of all of our gear. Uh, we got everything packed up. Our bikes are ready to go for our trip. Um, everything has been packed. The only thing that we didn't include was the food that we're going to take. And that's going to be in, in Greg's uh, front pannier pockets. So it's like it, everything else is there except for that. And it went really well. We did like a two hour little jaunt around Panahachel. We went uh, into one of the other little villages and just did a loop and came back and was making sure that everything was fine, that everything was stable. Like we've got the, the GoPro mounts as well. I wanted to make sure that the GoPro pole that I have was gonna still stay solid. Um, Greg's got some additional things on his bike as well that he just wanted to make sure were, were going to withstand um, all of the bouncing around. And so we, we got all of that sorted. Moxie did great. She just hung out just like normal. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think that we are set. So the so today's Wednesday and the idea is now our, our bikes are packed and we don't need to do anything else um, so that on Saturday in the morning we can just um, go down for our launch party and then we can head off. But one thing that I've been thinking about doing uh, as we get into the United States in April is doing um, doing an iron butt. I want to do the Saddle Sore 1000 with Moxie. And uh, the timing in, in the States is tight with the events that we're doing and the places that we're going to be going to. So I'm thinking that obviously we need to be in a place where we can be at highway speeds or freeway speeds. Um, things that are, it, when it's too slow or there's speed bumps and things like that, like they are here, uh, and there's no way that I'll be able to do a thousand miles in 24 hours. So I'm thinking that when we get into El Paso in Texas, where we cross, the idea I'm, I'm having is that potentially doing a loop sort of into New Mexico, so like Albuquerque, Oklahoma City, um, Dallas, uh, and then back down to El Paso, I'm thinking that that might be a good loop. I, I actually reached out to the Iron Butt Association and asked them what would be a good um, route to take and I haven't heard back, but if you guys have done it before and are, are in like those states, in the southern states, um, I don't want to go too far into Texas because we're going, we're heading west. So anything in Phoenix or California, I'm hoping that this is going to happen. Uh, it would be great to do an iron tail with Moxie. Uh, I think that she'll be able to handle it. I think the weak link in our group is going to be Craig. <sighs> uh, I'm the one who always seems to be, do I do well with long distance. Um, Greg is the one who ends up complaining first. So we'll have to see how it goes. And look, if, if it doesn't happen or if we can't uh, do the thousand miles in 24 hours, look, I just, I want to give it a try. It's a goal. It's something that I want to do. And uh, because I can't do it here, because the, the roads are just, it's just not like, there's too many speed bumps, there's too many places where the, the Pan American freeway goes uh, in between towns and there's traffic. So I'm thinking that the States really is gonna be it. If you guys have done um, an iron butt before, Saddle Sore 1000 or something similar, um, let me know what a good route would be. I'm pretty open right now. Uh, I just wanna make sure that, that we can get it done. So that is what I am planning right now. We have a few last minute things to do, some last minute packing, and then, uh, yeah, Saturday we're gonna head off. So the goal is that by like tomorrow afternoon, everything is done and we are sorted and ready to go so that on Friday we can, can relax and sort of take in our last moments here in Guatemala. But uh, yeah, it's, it's coming along and it's gonna happen soon. So don't forget guys, tune in on, on Saturday on the 5th at 10 a.m. Central on Instagram, we're gonna be live. So make sure that you come on over there, subscribe to, to us uh, at Go Roughly on Instagram so that you are notified when we go live. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see you guys there and see what comments you guys have. Okay, talk to you soon.